Assalamu alaikum beautiful people. Now, how are you guys? Fine. I hope everybody will be fine. Guys, today once again with another interesting topic I'm the front of you that is about crank off bar and slab. Guys, in many constructions, especially an NRCC slab, we provide crank bar. It is also called bent up bar. What's the reason behind this? why the bars are crank near its support in rcc slip so today i will clear your concept about crank bar what's the reason if you don't provide crank bar so what's happened in rcc slip so let's start guys and guys one other question why you don't like my video why my topic is not interesting so today i will see how many people are liking my video so first like the video let's start guys the topic is why crank bars provided in slave what's the reason behind this what is crank bar guys you can see this is rcc slave as you can see this is rcc slave this is just the section right so guys here we provide crank bar like this Guys, you can see in the picture, this is crank bar and RCC slave. Okay, so we provide crank bar. The bars are bent up near its support. What's the reason behind this? So there are just uh, some points. For that purpose, we provide crank bar. The first one, to resist negative bending moment, it's also called hogging. How? Guys, you can see. This is slab. Okay. So when the load comes on the slab, so it makes a shape same like this. Like this. Okay. So diagram is not good, but same like this. Again. Like this. So guys, here you can see this is a negative bending moment this is also negative bending moment and this is positive bending moment okay so guys it's make so this is called sagging the positive bending moment makes in slip sagging but the negative bending moment makes hogging at this point guys you can see so this is called hogging also here okay so to avoid the hogging in RCC slip. So we provide to resist negative bending moment hogging. So therefore, the bars should be bent near its support, especially in two-way slip. Right? Second point, to resist shear force which is greater at supports. Okay? Guys, you can see, this is again slip. Right? When the load comes here, Okay, so here guys, at the mid, at this point, here is bending moment is maximum, but at the end of the support, so there is a minimum, or you can see zero, you can say zero, minimum, and here maximum bending moment, but the shear force is shear force, okay, shear force is maximum at support here, at these points also here okay so shear force is maximum but bending moment is minimum or also you can say zero because at this point this is zero but maximum at the mid right so therefore guys to resist shear force which is greater at support so to resist the shear force so there we provide crank bar here we provide crank bar this is the other point right third point to reduce amount of steel bar guys to avoid the shear force okay because shear force is maximum okay so if it's making problem okay or it's making hogging 
due to negative bending moment so there we use more amount of steel bar near its support so we don't provide more amount of steel to reduce the amount of steel bar so for that reason the main bars should be bent up near its support or crank near its support this is the other point okay the fourth point to increase the strength of slab why because if there is hogging or if when the load comes on the slab so it's at the end of the supports it's make hogging okay also shear force is maximum at support right so when we don't provide the crank bar so the slab will be fail after some time it provide what cracks okay and also brittle failure so therefore we provide crank bar this is the other point right the fifth to reduce the risk of brittle failure of sub slab column connection as you know guys uh, we have the slab and column connection so there we provide here as you can see this is support here at this point this is support at this point this is the other support also support is called column this is one column this is other column okay and here you can see guys this is slab right so guys here you can see this is the connection between column and slab so we provide cranks bar to reduce the risk brittle failure so this is the picture of brittle failure so don't confuse this is the picture of brittle failure if you don't provide crank bar in rcc slab so it's provide brittle failure if you don't use crank bar in rcc slab so for that purpose we should provide the crank bar to reduce the risk of brittle failure of slab column connections so guys these are the main points for which we provide crank bar especially in rcc slab so if you don't want to provide the crank bar in rcc slip so what's happened the first point it provide the negative bending moment so for negative bending moment it makes cracks this is the first point second to resist the shear force is greater at support so when the shear force is greater than so it shear the it cut the object or the structure structure is column and also slab this is the other problem if you don't provide crank bar the third to reduce the amount of steel bar when you uh, bent up the bar or crank the bar near its support so there we don't need to provide more amount of steel bar on the joints or the connection of column and slab this is the other point if you don't provide crank bar so you will decrease the strength of slab if you provide so it, it increase the strength of slab this is the other point the last one if you don't provide the crank bar in rcc slab or bent up bar in rcc slab, RCC slab so it increase the risk risk of brittle failure of slab column connection but if you provide so it will avoid it will reduce it will not provide the brittle failure of slab column connection so guys these are the points but nowadays you can also use the extra bars extra bars are also important but now here is a question extra bars are are important are crank bar so i recommend you guys the crank bar is very important accord uh, compared to extra bars so guys this is the another topic which i have discussed the front of you why crank bars provided in slab so this is the uh, most often asked question also in uh, interview okay and more people are asking about sir what is the reason why crank bar provided so these are the points which i have discussed the front of you so guys if you have any question about this video so you can comment so i will try to reply your answer but if you comment related with this topic so see you in next video thanks for watching goodbye